how to fix gray screen with spinning pinwheel on MacBook Pro. It's a MacBook Pro. And it wouldn't boot up. So this is how what I did to fix it. I replaced the hard drive cable and this is how I did it. Here's the hard drive cable. And this is where you find the model number. Right there is your model number. And I'm going to show the process. I already fixed this one. I'm going to show the process how I did it. Remove 10 screws from the back plate. 7 are the same size. And 3 are bigger size. Remove all 10 screws. And to go to the next step. These are the three big screws right here. One, two, three. And they're on the back side of the see that? The three. Here's my magnet where I keep them all together. And they're all the seven are real small. that small. All seven, the rest of the seven are like this. And using my uh, my phone so it's very hard to do this with one hand. So I'm going to cut right here and take this off. All ten screws are off so I'm taking off the back plate and show you guys how it looks inside and this is what I'll be replacing this cable right here it goes in under, underneath the hard drive this is the one we're going to replace to fix the gray screen with the spinning pinwheel that's after you tried everything else this is going to be the, the problem right here this right here first disconnect the cable that goes to the motherboard it is this one right here that's the first thing you do disconnect the hard drive cable that connects to the motherboard simple put your finger in there your nail clip boom it's off and this is where you find your model number again right there So it goes into this thing right here. Okay. The next step is to remove 
you want to remove two screws to take off the hard drive and that's one right there and that's the other one those two screws gotta come off one two to remove the hard drive And those screws don't come completely off, so you just leave them in there. After they're loose, pull this off, and it comes right off. See? It comes right off. The next thing, pull your hard drive out. Just like that. And right here, this is your SATA connector right here. It's connected to your hard drive. It's disconnected from right there. Your cable is underneath there. So you have disconnected from right there. You have two, uh, four more screws to take off. Two from here, one, two, and two on this bracket right here. One here, and this other one right there. The other one's right here. You take those the four screws off. And just gently uh, pull this bracket up right here. This is glued on, so this just when you get the new one, it has a sticky back. Disconnect all this. And this is how your old. This is how your cable looks right here. This, this is how the back looks. So just change that cable right there. And your problem will be fixed. Okay, I put everything back together and that's the different that's how the screws look when they're off. The three big ones, they go on this back side with the black part inside. You can see the black part right here. There's one, two, three this is where you open the laptop in the front and this is where they go one two three okay I put every, I put everything back together make sure everything was connected properly and now we're gonna turn it on and see if it boots up. Now we're going to see if it boots up. And there it is, problem fixed. I tried everything else. The next step, if that doesn't work, is to change the motherboard. And that's gonna be expensive.